positive. Yeah, Batman be- beat both Grendels like super bad. It's just Fiend, very funny. But uh, Fiend is cover for um, Batman and Grendel. Just maybe <laughs> want the the um the Bruce Tim universe back so bad. I want it back so bad. Well, I mean, they're still making comics for it, so. I want, I want it animated. <laughs> I want like I can the, see that. Like the name of the comic series, the most recent Batman comic series, is perfect for a name for a new Batman anime series. But the Adventures Continue is a perfect name for like the next Batman animated series. It could be called Batman the Animated Series: The Adventures Continue. It would be perfect. No, I just. I yeah. like I said before, I would want a Green Arrow and Black Canary series. I would want a Green Arrow Black Canary series. I just want a like actual comic accurate Green Arrow Black Canary series. Like I like Arrow, I like Arrow a lot, but I want something like comic accurate. We'll see. Um, Justice League Unlimited was more comic accurate. <laughs> um, to Arrow. Justice League Unlimited was very comic accurate. Yeah, that's but, what I'm, I'm talking about within that universe. Like that Bruce I do I wouldn't want it in that universe. I love that. I would not want it in that universe. I love that at universe. all. I hate that universe with a fiery passion. Wait, what? Why do you hate it? And they they ruins. Uh Batman and Harley Quinn, uh the no, no, uh, Batman no. Beyond comics. No, no, um, no. I get that out of my face. I don't care about the comics. I don't care about the I don't care about Batman Harley Quinn. That could die. And a fire. <laughs> I'm talking about the TV shows. I'm sorry, I'm moving my uh, camera around. <laughs> I also was not a big fan of Batman Beyond, but I think you already know I don't like Batman Beyond that much. Like anyway, it's like a character. Like I don't like uh, Terry McGinnis as a character. I know like, anyway. Had, so, the, um, what was the name of the second Batman animated series with um Tim Drake? Uh, the New Batman Adventures. The New Batman Adventures is really good. Like the first one is really good, but like the second one is also. The entire series is really good, both combined, but just, it starts, I can't, it's hard for me to even think about which one is better, because the more I think about it, the more I'm like, they're both amazing. <laughs> the design. I think it takes a serious dip in quality when Barbara Gordon starts thirsting after Bruce Wayne, that's. That, that is the worst part of, <laughs> for me personally, the worst part of that universe has always been the fact that they made Barbara and Bruce love interest, despite the fact she in that universe is young as hell. <laughs> like much Yeah, she's literally Dick Grayson's age. Yeah, it's like much younger than Bruce. Not only is she also Dick Grayson's age, it's literally a plot line about him getting upset at the fact <laughs> like getting upset with her, so she like leaves him for Bruce. It's so weird. I hate it. I hate it so much. That part was weird and I hated it. <laughs> and I want them if they if they were ever to bring back the Bruce Tim universe, I would want them to delete that. And Harley Quinn, Batman and Harley Quinn from existence. I would want them to. I would too. I would want them to wreck on that. I just wouldn't want Bruce Tim to touch the universe because no, a lot of. I don't want him to touch it. I just want it. Like, other writers could work on it. I just want that specific universe. And that's the thing is that Bruce Tim gets a lot of recognition or gets like a lot of like credit like credit for it most of what people loved about that universe and mo- like a lot of like the most memorable episodes and like people's favorite stuff wasn't even Bruce Tim. It was like Paul Dini and uh, other people like that. Bruce Tim really did not touch those for the most part. Want to know who was one person that made that um, universe amazing? Hold up. I'm looking up his name right now. Okay. But um, this is something I'm going to touch on um, way more in a future episode. But um, the one of the founders of Milestone Comics um, Dwayne McDuffie, who created Static Shock, um, he wrote a lot of episodes for the Justin Anime series and Justin Unlimited. Um, and he also wrote majority, he wrote, not majority, because he obviously other people worked on the show, but he wrote, of course, for the character he created, Static. Um, and he's the reason why Icon and um, her love, I can't remember her name, showed up in Young Justice, because he also wrote for Young Justice. He passed away, mm-hmm. he passed away, I think, in 2011. Um, yeah. He, he also was a big contributor to that, um, to that universe that Bruce Tim started it, but you know, it doesn't have to, it's like, um, Harry Potter. It doesn't have to die with him. Like <laughs> that universe could still live without Bruce Tim. I feel like every time we have a, a discussion about something that we don't like the creators or like what the creators do with it, it's always goes, it always goes back to Harry Potter. Oh, he also, he also wrote on Ben 10. 
Oh, that's cool. Wait, which one? The original show? Yeah, the original. Okay. Remind me to rewatch that because I, yeah. I did like I really I, like the I, 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 I might rewatch Benton Alien Force because that's my favorite. I like Alien Force a lot. Yeah. 